Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nancy Nice. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is a super, super exciting one. It's sort of an unboxing and flip through of my new beautiful Bible that I got. Um, but before I get into that, I want to share with you guys something that I got from my desk because I am obsessed recently with diffusers. I own four diffusers, I believe. I have one in my room, my mother's room, my sister's room, and in the living room. Yeah, so I own four diffusers. Um, and I say four total because I actually purchased all of them myself. But I did give them to my mother and my two sisters. And I have one in my bedroom. Um, but I wanted something for my desk because I was burning candles. And my son is a little clumsy at times. He got two left feet. So, I get nervous burning candles when he's home. Like, when he's not home like today, I can burn my candles. But I wanted something that I could sit at my desk and have the fragrance going because I like my scents. I'm just, I love scents, especially when I'm studying. So, we went to Walmart um, maybe two weeks ago, a week ago. And I saw this, and you guys, the way it happened was absolutely funny. Because I initially thought, you know, hey, I want, I didn't go to Walmart to actually look for one. I was just like, hey, I would like one, you know, that's small enough to fit on my desk that was either white or black and went with the little decor theme of my desk. I kid you not, guys. This was sitting there, open, ripped up, outside the box, and I picked it up. I was looking to see if there were any other ones available. There weren't, and the ones that I did see were like $20, $30. I didn't want to spend that kind of money. I kid you not, guys. The box I'm going to show you, I did not do this whatsoever. This was how the box was. Completely, like, ripped up. I think someone found it, ripped it up, opened it to see how it would look. Um, and didn't want it, so they put it back where the oils were, but it wasn't where the other diffusers were. So before, like, I took it, but then as we were walking around shopping, I looked through to make sure everything in it was in there. The cord was in there, um, the whole diffuser piece was in there, everything was good, so I purchased it. I honestly can't tell you the price because my mom has a receipt, um, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, I got this cool Miss Ultra Sonic Aroma Diffuser. And it, it, it holds 50 milliliters of water. It is an LED on and off indicator light. And it works great. I would show you guys right now, but it's literally on my desk. But um, it literally just looks like this picture. Just this light is a little bit more blue. It's really cute and I love it. And then I bought some oils because, like I said, I'm obsessed. I probably will do a video on how I set my um, set my mood, I guess. Not mood, but like do my setup and stuff for when I'm studying but the scent that I have been obsessed with is, is this one it's called spiritual it's essential oil for aromatherapy and it is a mix of bergamot clove and lavender and lavender is a classification of lavender which I didn't really realize that lavender had different classifications I just thought all lavender was like lavender but when you think about it there's French lavender English lavender you have different like different types of lavender so this one contains lavender which is a lower class of lavender but um here it is it was about four dollars and some change or basically five dollars from walmart and they have it in different scents they have the spiritual one they have the relaxation and then they have the invigorating i believe it's called i purchased all three but there were hardly any left so i'm definitely going to pick up another one of these but here it is again the one that I have and it is a one fluid ounce container of oil I'm loving this scent you guys I have it going right now but I wanted to share that with you guys because this is one of the things that I really highly suggest people do is like set their kind of the mood I guess when they're studying to help them stay focused I love my scents and my candles and my oils and my wax warmers they just help me to stay focused so I just wanted to share that but this is all about my order from christianbook.com if you guys don't know, um, ChristianBook.com is a Christian-based website where you can purchase Bible studies, Bibles, um, Christian fiction books, Christian non-fiction books. You can purchase bookmarks, mugs, pens, journals, all types of things. They even have jewelry there and houseware, mugs, and stuff like that. And um, I personally haven't purchased from them. My mom has. That's where she purchases most of her things. The um, King James Version Women's Study Bible that I showed you guys from Thomas Nelson is actually, she purchased it for me from ChristianBook.com. But they were recently having a sale. And I couldn't stop myself because this is something that I really, really wanted for a long time. And I think they were having like a 50% off flash sale or something like that. 
and they had the Bible on sale and I literally had the exact amount in my account on PayPal so I was like you know what I'm gonna go on the only the only reason why I don't order from them a lot is because the way they do they shipping sucks their shipping is based on the amount of money you spend so I think the lowest for their shipping is like three dollars and if you go over a certain amount you pay five ninety nine then it goes up from there depending on how much you spend so if you're spending a good fifty sixty dollars you're gonna be paying about close to eight nine maybe ten dollars on shipping which I personally hate that they do it like that but you know it is what it is but I finally made my first purchase with them and I'm so excited because I love what I got but the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is are these uh, what they call them watercolor page markers and they're basically magnetic bookmarks but they were super super cute they were only $2.99 I'm not sure if they were on flash sale I don't think they were um, they were literally three bucks and you get six so I mean hey but they're so darn stinking cute you guys do you see first of all I love the cupcake one these are like super cute I cannot wait to put these in my journals and stuff and here are the backs of them I love this polka dot and the, the watercolor here. I love the floral print. The floral goes with the um, cupcake. And then the polka dot one goes with this one. I love the bird. I love this one. I just, I really like these bookmarks. And I did see a bunch more bookmarks. Um, the next order I make is going to be like seven items. And of those seven, I think I have like three packs of bookmarks. Let me check actually because I'm looking at my phone. One, two, three. Yeah, I have th of the seven items I'm gonna purchase, um, three of those items are going to be bookmarks because I'm obsessed with bookmarks. Like I use them in books, I use them in journals, I use them in my Bibles. Like I love bookmarks. But um, I definitely got had to get this. It says can be used instead of staples and paper clips. Great as bookmarks. Um, yep. So I'm trying to see if there's anything else on it. But I I love these and they're really really vibrant. But I got that. They were $2.99, like I said. But the main course was finally, you guys, finally getting the Bible that I wanted. Now, originally, I was going to get the regular hardcover gray color. But um, it had silver foil, and I wasn't feeling it. I'm more of a gold foil kind of girl. I do like silver foil on stickers. But um, I love gold, rose gold. That's my thing. And um, I was so excited. They had this one on sale. Um, and I got it. So... Here's the baby that I got, you guys. I love her so much. It is the Poppy She Reach Truth Bible with the gold foil on it, and it is phenomenal. Um, I'm going to say it's a cloth material hardcover Bible. I love it. It is written in the CSB translation. This Bible normally retails how much? Oh, I gotta go back. It normally retails for $50. Um, Christianbook.com sells it for $34.99. But I got it for $24.99, so I had $10 off, which was amazing. And um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I want to tell you guys, but I can't think of anything. But um, yeah, She Reached Truth released their Bibles um, last year, and I was thinking about getting it, but then I didn't know. And then I wanted the gray one, but then I fell in love with the poppy, and I'm glad I got the poppy because it really, really pops, and it looks gorgeous on my shelf next to my little green bins. Just Oh, so amazing. But um, here is the spine, you guys. Oh, isn't she stunning? It says She Reached Truth, Christian Standard Bible. Now, the reason why I got this is because I already have a HCSB Bible. And um, let me grab it quickly because it's sitting right here in front of me. Mm. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I have this one here, which is uh, HCSB. And the HCSB and CSB are written by the same company, Holman's. Um, or created, I believe, by the same company, which is Holman's. You guys can see the Women's Study Bible, HCSB. But I didn't realize that the HCSB was the older version, and then the CSB is the newer version. It's kind of like how they have the King James and the New King James, I guess. That's probably, like, the worst example to use, but I hope you guys get what I'm saying. So they had an updated version that I didn't realize that I honestly thought it was the same thing. So I decided it would be the perfect excuse to get it. Um... So, yeah, I'm just going to quickly read what it says on the back, and then I'm going to share with you guys a flip through because I have yet to open this, you guys. I've had this now since Thursday. It is now Saturday, and it's been sitting there on my lovely shelf just waiting for me to play with her and write in her. And I decided I wasn't going to do that until I did a flip through with you guys because there are not a lot of reviews of this Bible on YouTube, shockingly enough. So I definitely wanted to do a flip through and then come back maybe in a month or two months to let you guys know how I like the Bible because it is kind of like a journaling style Bible. 
and I'm all for journaling Bibles. And it's in the CSB translation, which is a good translation, I think, in my and you know, in my opinion. But um, yes. Yeah, so first off, here is the front of it, and it is in a box. So you guys can see it's definitely in a box. But um, I love the box. It's the same kind of hardcover cloth material. It has this little um, sleeve on it, and it just says "She Reads Truth Bible." Um, faithful and true here on the side and then Christian Standard Bible on the back it has some information um, I will quickly read that to you guys it says the sheet reach truth Bible lives at the intersection of beauty goodness and truth featuring devotionals by the she reach truth writing team and scripture reading plans that include supplemental passages for deeper understanding this Bible invites every woman to count herself among the She Reads Truth community of women in the Word of God every day. The She Reads Truth Bible also features 66 key verses, artfully lettered to aid in scripture memorization. Features include 189 devotionals, 66 illustrated key verses, 35 full-color timelines, 20 full-color maps, 11 full-color charts, reading plans for every book of the Bible, one-year Bible reading plan, detailed book introductions, key verse lists, carefully curated topical index, um, Smith's own binding, wide margins for journaling, and note taking. The She Reads Truth Bible features a Christian Standard Bible, CSB text. The trans, um, oh, translated by more than 100 scholars from 17 denominations. The CSB features can opt, features an optimal blend of accuracy, readability that's faithful for serious study and written with heart stirring clarity. And um, if you guys don't know what SheReachTruth.com is, definitely check it out. They are amazing. It's an amazing ministry, and I think it is something that every woman should check out. They do have a He Reach Truth as well for men, which I think is perfect. So, um, And they do make things for kids and stuff. So definitely check out their store, their site, everything. It's just amazing. But um, also inside the, the, um, the box when I got it was this book, um, the CSB Standard Bible Built for the Church. It came from ChristianBook.com. I guess... I don't even know. It just has different types of the different types of Bibles in here. I guess different CSB Bibles that you can get. Um, and it shows you the She Reach Truth here on this page. So yeah. It comes in navy leather touch, gray linen, poppy linen, brown, genuine leather, and then the hard cover, which is gray, um, a light gray color with silver foil. I had to go with the one that had gold for you of course. Also inside of my box there were these um, little little uh, pamphlets here to purchase items from. I love ChristianBook.com. I just don't purchase from them because their shipping is crazy. But yes, I'm going to slide this Bible out. And on the front it just has a She Reads Truth symbol. Here's the spine and nothing on the back and um... Honestly, you guys, I love, 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 love the inside and the back. It's just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So now what I'm going to do is stop chattering, chattering, oh, stop chatting, flip the camera around so we can walk through this Bible together because I am so ready to play in her. So ready. Okay, guys, so I done flipped the camera around and we're going to dive into this Bible Sorry ahead of time if the camera shakes. I have this weird setup going. But um, like I said, these are the bookmarks that I got or page markers. They are magnetic and they are just so stinking adorable. I'm going to open them up quickly for you guys. And um, taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalms 34, 8. Be still and know, Psalms 46.10, faith, hope, love, soar on wings like eagles, Isaiah 40.31, you have been set free, Romans 6.18, let all that you do be done in love, 1 Corinthians 16.14, and they're really fairly simple um, to play with, like they're just thinking cute, you guys, they're so cute and I'm loving this cupcake one like I'm obsessed with this cupcake one so I might be using it soon but like they're really cute and easy to use so I'm actually going to keep two of these out so you guys can see it in the bible but um, I'm just going to put the others to the side 
Okay, so again, She Reads Truth Bible. This is the poppy color. It's a hard cover and it has cloth material. This is just the case that it is in the little box and it is in the Christian Standard Translation. Sorry, you guys, about my autofocus. There we go. Um, so again, on the side of the Bible, it has She Reads Truth Christian Standard Bible Homens with gold foil. The back just gives you the basic information, which is what I read in the intro. And this is the side of the Bible, so I'm going to slide it out. I'm sorry about this, you guys. I'm trying to get the best setting. I think I have to get a larger table. So I'm working on getting a larger table for my room. But um, here is the Bible itself. Trying to get it in frame as much as possible. Front cover. It is cloth hardcover material. And I love it. Cute little gold for you of their She Reads Truth kind of logo. Which is just a little book. Opening it up here are the end pages for the fronts. Really nice and simple design. I like it. It's not out there. Then you get your presentation page, which says presented to by on. I haven't signed any of this, you guys, like I said, because I wanted this to be like a quick kind of unboxing flip through with you guys. She Reads Truth Bible. Rachel Myers is the general editor. Amanda Bible is the general editor. Then you have the other people. Copyright information, of course, and it also gives you the ISBN for the other ones. Like I said, there's a hardcover, gray linen cover, poppy linen, brown, genuine cowhide, and then the navy leather touch. Um, and then you can pick between the non-index and the index. I don't like index Bibles. I prefer non-index. So then you get this sort of, I'm guessing, introduction. I'm sorry, guys. So, you get this introduction from both Rachel and Amanda, which I think is cute, and they signed it. So freaking adorable. You get your table of contents, and then your books of the Bible, Old Testament, New Testament. I'm sorry again about the shaking. I'm not sure what's going on with my table. But you get this section here, which I think is always great to see, um, to have these in Bible, especially for people who are new to reading their Bible. It's how to read the Bible. So um, it tells you what the Bible is. It's God's word, a historical record meant to be read. It's for you and it's for right now. The approach to his word, um, reverently, confidently, regularly engage, expectantly, emotionally, intellectually, and broadly apply his word appropriately, responsibly, permanently. Read prayerfully, be doers of the word. The Bible is God's stories, um, God's story. And it also gives you scripture references to each of the different things that it's saying, which I think is really interesting. And I'm loving the poppy color of the font. Love it. Next, you have this is the gospel. I'm not sure what this is because, like I said, I'm just not opening this with you guys. So I'm loving it. And I like all the scripture references throughout. So I'm really liking that they're giving you scriptural proof instead of just writing things because some Bibles will not give you that it tells you about the key features which are your key verses your introduction your genre indicator your maps your charts timelines devotionals your layout which is um, large margin space and then custom Bible font and then it has the reading plans as well This gives you a list of your features, so your maps, charts, and timelines. This is just an introduction to the CSB translation, which I think all Bibles give you that introduction to their translation. And then you have the Old Testament here. I like that. Flipping over. It was very good indeed. I love the font. So pretty. Um, this has green and all the colors on the side are very different. Let's see if I can find a different one. I can't find one. Um, there we go. See, purple. You have different colors that mean different things. And it's basically their way of helping you to understand the different types of, um, parts of the Bible. How you have the books of law and then the books of poetry, the gospels and things like that. So the way the... 
kind of introduction is set up is you get your title you get a key verse which goes with the key verse art over here on the timeline you get your background your message and purpose prayer I guess that would be because it says give thanks for the book of Genesis so I would assume this is a prayer or telling you why to be thankful for the book of Genesis you get your timeline which is really nice I guess this would be a reading plan into reading Genesis yes this is definitely a reading plan which I think is amazing so you could read through Genesis in five weeks basically is what I'm assuming from this um, the way it's written down and they also give you extra scriptures to go deeper so you can help so they can help you understand um, the chapters you'll be reading so I think that's great and something I probably will use when I go back into reading the Old Testament I love the margin space here um, it's really nice there are no lines so you can draw on this you can write your notes however you want stick sticky notes I like that um, of course you have your basic information at the bottom um, such as like what other translations say or key uh, cross references and definitions and stuff like that I like that the font is not too bad for me I don't mind a smaller font um, I'm gonna assume this is about an 8 point font or even a 9 point I'm not sure this would be a devotional I'm gonna assume right here and um, I like this it's nice it's really nice and it gives you scriptures to go with and I feel like the devotionals go with the um, reading plan just because so there it is I love this the paper doesn't feel too bad um, legacy of faith that looks like something I definitely want to read right there I'm liking this so far so I'm gonna flip ahead um, to the bookmark well I guess I flip through all of the uh, different chapters or books rather so here's Exodus I am the Lord your God Leviticus I have set you apart from the nations to be mine I'm probably not gonna flip through all of them because I mean there are 66 books in the Bible but um there you go let me see if they have one in here that is more artsy not really but um you know that's nice this one gives you a map and it's of Solomon's kingdom your reading plan your scriptures your devotional this one is on practical wisdom um, so this Bible does come with two bookmarks and my bookmarks are still folded up in the Bible so I'm trying to flip through the page the page okay so here is the first bookmark for this and it's kind of like a cream ivory color which is nice I'm gonna skip ahead I'm probably gonna use this to study Isaiah because studying Isaiah you guys is really tripping me up <laughs> um, okay so this is Malachi and the other bookmark we'll get to that all right so end of Malachi you have the New Testament and you can tell that the paper is really thin because you can see the artwork on the other side but it doesn't bother me so if it does bother you I would say think about that um, repent because of the repent because the kingdom and the kingdom of heaven has come near sorry you guys here is the second bookmark so you have an ivory color and this kind of like golden yellow color, which I like. Um, okay, so I'm just going to flip all the way to the back to see what's here. Oh, I am so sorry, you guys. This is so terrible. <laughs> but we're going to work with it. We're going to work with it.
Okay. So then it goes into key verses and it breaks it down by its, I guess, book type. So you have the laws, the histo history, the wisdom and poetry books. You have the major prophets and the minor prophets. You have the gospels, um, the church history, which is Acts. You have the letters or Paul's epistles. You have the general epistles. And then you have the apocalyptic one, which is Revelation. This is the genre guide, so it tells you about the different genres of the books of the Bible. From the Old Testament and New Testament. The Apostles' Creed. Then you have the Bible in a Year plan. Um, I'm personally not a huge fan of reading the Bible in a year. I just don't feel like you can get enough from it. Um, reading it, fine, but I'm more of a studier rather than a reader. There's nothing wrong with it, um, but for me personally, I'm just not a fan of reading the Bible in a year. I tried it with the Old Testament, and I got from Genesis to Leviticus, and you guys, I don't remember anything that I read. Um, so I'm more of a studier. But this gives you it for the year and you're reading a good for four to six chapters a day which I personally think is insane um, but hey yeah so then you have your topical index which um I wish this wasn't as cluttered looking because it definitely does bother my eyes a bit but um, that's what my other Bibles are for and a concordance is for. So I guess for the CSB it works. Yeah, I, I really wish it wasn't as cluttered. Because <laughs> that really does bother my eyes a bit. But it's still a good size concordance, I guess, for this version or translation. Then you have your maps. So Abraham's migration to Canaan. Israel and Jesus's time, Jesus's ministry around the Sea of Galilee. This is tables of weights and measures, contributors, and devotional content staff, and that's it. Um, so I definitely do like the Bible. I love it. Um, there are some things that you know I wish were different. But, um, you know, you can't complain, and I've never really had a CSB. I have an HCSB. It's a study Bible, though, so I didn't, I've didn't. i never owned a regular CSB or HCSB Bible unless it was a study Bible. So this not being a study Bible, I guess it's um pretty good. I love this teal color, you guys. I have called you by your name. You are mine. This is Isaiah. And I'm actually going to put my bookmark here. Well, not that one. I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to put my bookmark here. Then I'm also going to flip to Ruth. Because if you guys don't know, I am hosting an exclusive online Bible study in my Facebook group, Daughter of Increase. Um, just literally type Daughter of Increase and you'll find the the Facebook group as well as the page. Oh my god, you guys. Ruth is stunning. May his name become well known in Israel. I like this. So I'm just going to put this here because like I said, I'm studying, um, teaching a Bible study, I guess you could say, on Ruth. So I'm definitely going to read through the devotionals and stuff as I do that. This is gorgeous. Oh, I love that. I really like the layouts um, and colors. There are certain things that are like minor that I don't care for, but that's just me myself um, having had so many Bibles. And I'm going to show you guys how the bookmarks look. Grab the other one because it fell on the floor. Um, so this one that I got in my hand right now is the cupcake one. And I mean it holds, I don't know, well, you can't really pack on the pages with it, but um, it's pretty cute and decent. I like it. And you can do it either way, but of course I would do it with the um, words on the front. So 
So there it is again. This is the She Reads Truth Poppy Linen Bible. I adore her. She is stunning. Where is the case? Here she is. I'm just going to slide her back in. And, um, yeah, I'm going to put her back on my shelf so she can look pretty and gorgeous. But that is the She Reads Truth Bible. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of walkthrough. I will have a better review coming soon within a month or two. Other than that, that is it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!